This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington. These folks love their football in Seattle. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad came out of the tunnel, and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football. So are we as the Seahawks get set to match up with Jameis Winston and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. On the carry, here's Marshawn Lynch. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They'll run with Marshawn Lynch. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. From the shotgun, Wilson eluding the pressure right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. You know, I don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game. This guy has mobility, and they want to use his legs in the game plan. So there will be design runs as well as his scrambles. Go, go, go. Here we go on fourth with Wilson. And this is incomplete. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And the Bucs are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. up to the 28 just what you want on a first down run call it eight yards and it's second and two on second down it's jones and they are able to stop him but he does take it all the way to the two a big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. He was trying to dance in around the sideline, but fell just a couple of yards short. Still, he's got him in great position. He certainly does. They did a nice job keeping him from getting into the end zone, but they are definitely back on their heels after that run. They'll try to run it in with Jones. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll bring up a second and goal. behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. No surprise there, Jadevian Clowney with a tackle for loss. We all know how he became one of the most famous players in football, though, don't we remember? Oh, that one play. Yeah, that one big-time play. It was on highlights everywhere. They want to see more of that here in the NFL. Let's go! 
Here's Jones. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. So a very short kick here. This will be taken by one of the up here. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Really, bro, you two plays. I'm telling you right now, that's definitely not going to help you. You might as well cut that shit out right now. What? Who are you? 22. 22 is the mic. Let's go, defense. Hey, man. Four down, four down. My 52. Good touch. Now Wilson on first down. And that one complete to Marshawn Lynch. Watch that in. Throwing again on second down. Wilson escaping the pressure right. He'll run it. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. To throw again on second down. Wilson, this complete to Lockett. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Seven yards there and a first down. Wilson going to lead his guys up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Check. Check out. On second down, Lynch. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A nine-yard touchdown run as they are now on the board here in the first half. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Bucs take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the table and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Now Winston. It's caught by Mike Evans. 
First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. But Mike Evans sees man coverage. I don't think he's the only guy who gets excited. I guarantee the guy throwing the ball does because guess what? He's got a lot of options about where to place it because of Mike Evans' size and frame. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second down now, it's Logan, and he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Give him four yards on the play, and that will lead us into the two-minute warning. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Winston on third and two. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he is down deep into Seattle territory. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. 41 yards. On third down, it's very simple. Make sure you get beyond the sticks, make the catch, pick up the first down. But in this case, he turned it into bonus time and was off to the races for a monster play. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. He's Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Ronald Jones with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bucs have taken the lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. You're not playing those rookies. You think you're going to get that deep ball, that's dead. So you might want to stop it. Here we go, D. Watch tight. Tight ends right. Watch tight. Tight ends Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson. That's complete. It's Gordon. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Flush to his right. He's going to take off with it. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Throwing again on second down. Wilson. And that's complete to Luke Wilson. 
And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 33. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. This one into the hands of Metcalf. 23 yards, the final tally. I know we just saw a nice throw and catch, but how about the big guys up front yeah, buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Dancing to his left. Toward the pylon, caught. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. This is Lynch. Give him two yards, that sets him up first and goal. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Marshawn Lynch. In the final seconds of the first half, as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Myers connects on the PAT, and we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. One play has them up past the 40 already and another first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. This is taken at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan is showing you. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. On second down. It's Jones, and he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive linemen said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Watch the screen. 
On first down, Logan, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and that'll make it second and 12. They'll try to throw now, Winston. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Jameis to throw it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hudson. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. They just do get the playoff. Now Winston. That's complete to his receiver, Gablin. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Well, they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Makes it third and inches. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Back now in Seattle, Washington. All square, 14 apiece to score as we get ready for the fourth quarter. this one down inside the 15. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. You can't block me. You can't block me. You can't block me. They'll run it with Jones, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. of a yard and it'll be second down that's when you know they're desperate <laughs> I got you right where I want you run that shit again that's for that nigga maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive here second and 11 right there 54 right there right there To throw is Winston. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. 
an 11 yard touchdown. And they're able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter. Great corner route there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. It's a very short kick taken by an up man. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. To throw again on second down, Wilson. He'll find Metcalf. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. That one good for 26 and a first down. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Now it's Wilson. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The sack by the Super Bowl champion and pro bowler Jason Pierre-Paul. One left, one left, one left. To try again after the sack. Wilson, it's caught, block it. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. A gain of 10 brings up third and six. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one score game. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On third down, Wilson. And he's got Lockett. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. Back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Looked at me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play on, at this man. point. What, what are you in the game. doing, man? What are you doing? You know, on these types of plays, what are you doing? To assess blame. Okay, <laughs> Come on, man. Break down. Come on. Sometimes it's just a great play. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. There's Wilson. Buying time to his left. And that is incomplete. Devin White, the rookie out of LSU, there to bat that one away. This defense so strong all afternoon long. Well executed again there. This more is a now. group that Make really functions well off more. of Make each other. No matter what the assignment, the other person fills it okay. in the exact proper spot. They've made it very, very hard for them to find open places to throw the football. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Flushed out right. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. Uh, and the game, Buccaneers game, defense game. holds. Good game. Yep.